And welcome back at uh, Deakin Reserve here in Shepparton, where over 2,000 people are witnessing the third clash between the Victorian representative team against Melbourne Victory. A great half, uh, first half for Melbourne Victory, Ross. Definitely a, a very good half for Melbourne Victory. They were putting on a lot of pressure on the defence of the uh, representative squad and uh, they certainly look like they'll be doing the same here as we uh, kick off the uh, second half. And uh, of course we're noticing the new signing for uh, Melbourne Victory and that is uh, Sarat Sagha who has come from Thailand. He's a Thailand international. He comes from the Sh Shunburi uh, Football Club uh, who of course participate in the, the Thailand uh, Premier League. And uh, he, of course, is wearing the number five. Melbourne Victory, like we said earlier on, will be facing Premier League uh, side Fulham City on a Saturday. So they have to be fully fit in order to play against a team that uh, did uh, not bad last year in the English uh, Premier League. So a big test uh, for any Merricks side. Certainly is, and some great experience for them as they prepare for a huge season, John. And here we have here the Victorian team, Ross, uh, maybe Lovely little fake there, and again a shot from outside, but uh, not able to convert. And a lovely little fake shot here, but uh, Glenn Moss stood his ground there, but... Uh, With the help of his defence on that occasion. But uh, the Victorian team starting a bit more positive than what they did in the first 45 minutes. Again, pushing forward the shot there and, and very right in front of goal. once more. And what an opportunity there! But unfortunately, it was an error out of the play involved. No the prize there, John. No prize. And here we go. Here comes the victory through the uh, young squad here. A few of the boys from the youth team of victory and. Uh, What's Aaron certainly giving them a bit of a go here and geez they've done well the uh, the youth boys here. Uh, some great news in regards to uh, the youth squad, the under 19 uh, youth squad. We've had a few of the uh, Victorian boys chosen. Altona Magic's uh, Kilman uh, Toseski, Hume City's Jason uh, Davidson, Melbourne Knights duo Peter Frangic and Joshua Greenwald and uh, Bulleen Lions uh, Matthew Leckie all received call-ups to compete in the August Youth Championship in Hoi Chi Minh City in Vietnam. So some great news that a few of the boys have been chosen to represent Australia. What a great experience for, for the boys there and we wish them every, every success. And a recognition of course of the standard of, of Victorian the football. Well exactly. John, look I know I'm a bit one-eyed about that. Uh, I've been criticised sometimes, but life goes on. I'll take that criticism that Victoria has the best Premier League competition in Australia. Sure and has. I don't care if people don't like to hear that. Well, then he shows here with her Victoria team playing a lot more positive soccer in the second 45 they minutes. They certainly are. They're coming away, they're pushing forward, they've created a few good chances in 45 minutes here at uh, Deakin Reserve, and there's another chance straight into the arms though of uh, Glenn Moss victory and John to clear I should, that one I should and what a great uh, great save there but uh, I also should mention that of course all the other federations and all the other states certainly play a good standard of football I just happen to be a Victorian and be a little bit one-eyed so I hope they don't mind me saying that <laughs> <laughs> so 2 0 here dig and reserve Bottom of victory line. Bottom line, John, is that we're enjoying this fantastic... Oh, and here's the opportunity goal. in front of goal, and that was Peter Franjic. Easily taken there by Melbourne Victory. A few question marks there. Didn't think, uh, well, if he missed that, I, uh, I think uh, Aaron would have taken him off straight away because uh, that was a, a little gift, to say the least. Uh, they all thought a header would be coming in, and just a little touch there, and um, Melbourne Victory in the dying... Minutes of this game, surge forward by three goals to nil. It's unfortunate for the Victorian team. They have played 
a lot better than what they did in the first uh, half against uh, the Melbourne Victory boys. And surely they deserve a goal here at uh, Shepparton, but uh, there is still a few minutes remaining in this game and see if uh, the Victorian team can pull one back. And it certainly has been a great pleasure for us to come up to uh, Shepparton and uh, have a look at this game and provide coverage of this game. And we also thank uh, Fox Sports for uh, giving us the opportunity to uh, film this game due to the fact, of course, as we know, that uh, Fox are the main sponsors of the, the A-League. But we appreciate them allowing us to film this game with Melbourne Victory. And again, uh, the Victorian team there coming very close, as you can see, Ross, on two occasions. The first good reflex save there by the Melbourne Victory keeper. And then immediately unable to control the ball. Gerardo, who has really caught the eye of the Melbourne Victory officials in these uh, three friendly games. And that's the end of the game. We see Melbourne Victory triumphant over the Victorian squad by three goals to nil here at Deakin Reserve in Shepparton. Let's hear some comments now from uh, Mehmet Jurakovic, the coach, the youth coach of Melbourne Victory. Well, basically, the, everyone played really, really well. Um, to Victoria's credit, uh, they, they put a lot of pressure on us. And the young boys really came uh, with flying colours. And uh, absolutely, everyone played really, really well. When it was still nil all, uh, Mossy and the defenders did have to slide in, make a lot of challenges, make a lot of saves. It was one of those games where the, the first goal really was telling us to who took the momentum and, and went on with it. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, these guys have all experienced players, even the youngsters, so uh, it took a bit of time to get sort of gelled together, and after a while, uh, that they got the ball sort of moving, and, uh, you know, by the time we scored the first goal, everyone was playing well, and uh, to their credit, uh, they, they finished off the game quite well.